Hello and welcome. This is Mike Roslog, the product manager for Rad Studio. Today, what I want to show you really quickly is how to use Sync Edit. A lot of people don't uh, know that they even have this capability inside of the editor, and it's really a great feature. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the project that I did yesterday uh, showing how to use unit testing, and I'm going to uh, build on that example. So let's go ahead. I've just loaded it up. Let's go into the code real quickly. And as you can see down here, I have some code, and I have a b and i got my var inside of there and you know i may want to change some of those things i may want to change uh different things inside of that method or inside of that class and so what i really want to do is a local rename so what you can do is you can come in and i don't know if you've tried this but if you highlight a set of code inside of your uh, editor, you'll notice this icon over to the side. It's two little pencils and it really is called Sync Edit. If you click on that, what you'll notice is that certain things become highlighted. Notice that my A, B, integer, integer, and my my var is uh, changed. So let's change my var. So I'm going to come in here, click on my var, and I'm going to come back. Now notice as I'm doing that, the my var is going away. So I'm going to say, this is my var. And so notice how that did a local, re a local rename on that process right there. So I'm in the sync edit mode and I'm going to there. Let's say that I wanted to change my um, process here. Uh, if I wanted to change AB, you'll notice that when I change A to A ADB, ADE, that it changes down here, but as soon as I do that, I have an undeclared identifier, and that's because my function list doesn't match. So changing your signature can be problematic. However, when you're doing a local rename like this, what you may want to do, and look, we'll go back and it'll be fine, we'll go out of the sync edit process, and now let's go up there and highlight from the public function, which takes my calc numbers into it, and come all the way down, click the sync edit button, and now you'll start seeing that things are brought together so I could change the name of my method I could change the name of my variables so if I wanted to come up here and change the name of a to input 1 and then I could change B to input 2 notice that all of my processes have been changed in here to input 1 input 2 through this whole process I don't have to worry about where it's defined or how it's defined the actual sync edit will take care of that for me now let's just say I wanted to do something strange and I wanted to return instead of an integer I wanted to return a string so I could come into here and notice that when I bring this back into here I could say that I want a string and it's going to change all of those areas uh, into a string I could also come back out of here and say, you know what, I want to make that an integer because of all the code behind it. But again, it's a really quick way for you to change the functionality of your code and clean it up and rename variables and do things like that very quickly, very easily. When you're done, all you have to do is click on the sync edit and everything's back to normal. And then I have my normal uh, changes in here. So if I come in here and I wanted just to change this area, I say string, nothing really changes. But again, if I highlight it and I just put integer back into here, and I would highlight that function, click the sync edit, I now have that local input again where I can start naming things again and I could go back to uh, why, why not change and everything will change out locally. So again, that's Sync Edit. I hope it was informative. I hope it was quick. I hope it was fun. So please uh, take a look at it inside of the editor. It's been in there for quite a while. A lot of uh, great uses for it. Take care of it. Have fun with it. Talk to you soon. More to come. Bye-bye.